Got the, got a bitch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. All right, y'all. So today I'm gonna be doing like a warm tone. For some reason, I've been feeling the warm tones nowadays. Warm tones, brown clothes, nudes, all the fall type of fall season, like being anything, makeup clothes, whatever hair as y'all gonna see and yeah um let me just show y'all the palettes that i'm gonna be working with obviously i'm not gonna be using all of them but these are some of the palettes that i'm thinking about adding in today's look once again i'm not big on eyeshadow at all but i want to get back into it start getting a little bit more creative start making my looks get a little bit more creative so that's what i'm gonna wind up doing here so let me just show y'all that real quick With that being said, I think I want to keep it simple but still have a pop of something. The pop of something that I want to use, I don't think I have that in my possession, honestly. Because I see a lot of looks and a lot of intros on my Instagram, Pinterest, stuff like that. And I just never collect these items because I don't do eyeshadow. So it's like, why do I do it if it's only, you know, whatever. And excuse the um, noise in the background. It's my brother is moving around. Stuff like that, that's a lot going on. Anyway, so with that being said, let's get started on this eye look. All right, so first I'm gonna take the pink Vaseline, the little real, the real little small travel size one, and this one is my favorite one for because for some reason it makes my lips look real rosy and cute. The regular one is just like mm, moisturizing, but the pink one gives me like a little pink tint, so I really like that. My eyebrows was done a day prior, and so they just, I don't know, they look real dark right now, but I still decided to fill them in and kind of start over again. I do also want to mention that I'm not going to be doing a full voiceover video today. I'm going to just be letting y'all watch and just enjoy the video how y'all always do, but there is some things in the video that I do want to get in depth with, so... Yeah, because I know some of y'all like the full voiceover, and I know some of y'all just like to watch and learn. So, I just want to let y'all know.
today I'm going to be working with Hair BB here. And they sent me, I believe, a 16-inch wig. The wig literally came like this out the box. Like, they bleached it. They plucked it. They dyed it. They curled it. And y'all know curling is one of my favorite things to do. But it literally came like this. And it matches my skin tone completely. Actually, it does. It is kind of transparent or HD. Like, kind of in between. It's really, like, fine lace material. But... I did tint it towards the end of the video just a little bit. This is how the inside of the wig looks. You cannot part it on the sides. There's literally no parting space on the side. But this is about 16. I said 16. It's about 6 inches um, long. So you still have, I guess it's still versatile. Like you can still do a side part like I did. But if you want to do a deep side part for like a swoop or something like that, you're not really going to get that. And if you want to do your baby hairs for your edges, like real low by your ears, you're not going to be able to do that because it's not enough part in space. But I just feel like everything about this wig compensates for what you're not getting from this wig. So I literally fell in love with it. I did add some little touches. I wanted to add some volume to the top just so I can give it a very voluminous look. And then I also did the same to the sides. Y'all know how I am. I still have to prep a wig. I don't care how perfect a wig comes out the box. I still have to prep it for my liking. And then I also plucked the part a little bit just to make it look a teeny, teeny bit more realistic. I do wish that I could have done all of this on my head because everything always comes out better when you do it on your head. But it just wasn't given that. So I just had to do what I could.
to the side, finish um, getting dressed. I had to get in the shower real quick so I could put my owl, my owl, my outfit on. And it's getting kind of late, so hopefully I still get some sunlight. Well, not sunlight, but hopefully I still get some good lighting outside so I can take some pictures. But and I'm actually happy that my baby is like this because they look real cute and natural, like not too much. But I don't obviously y'all because I couldn't do like the little baby hair right here because I don't have enough space. I probably could have improvised, but no. The pattern literally stops. This is exactly where the little lace piece ends right here. So I couldn't do that. But it's alright. I'm going to still make it work. Anyways. So. Yeah, let me just do some finger combing. This is, I like this wig. This is probably one of my favorite wigs, to be honest. Because I like how it has some type of highlight but it's not too much like it doesn't wash my skin out and yeah and y'all know how i'm feeling about the full season anyway so anything that could complement the full season i'm 100 on board the only thing i don't really like about this look is my eyeshadow because i y'all i'm not gonna lie i don't know what i was doing like i wanted to try something else but i did it already in another video so i'm like let me just try something else i didn't want to like it wasn't supposed to be something super crazy. Like, it was supposed to be neutral anyway. But then I was just looking at it like, what is this? Like, I don't know. But, yeah. So, I stuck the comb under my braid under the wig too. So, I do plan on wearing it up. Probably not today. But, I do have the option of wearing it up. Not outside, of course. Maybe for, like, some cute pictures or something. I don't know. But, anyways, how are y'all liking this wig? Like, please... Let me know. Zoom in. I'm going to zoom in just for one second. Because y'all know I got to zoom in every time. It's like a slide. All right. Come on now. Put some respect on my name. Y'all got to stop playing with me. Like, so y'all, most of y'all don't be playing with me. But some of y'all still be trying to play with me. So for those, stop playing with me. Like, look at my hair. This looks real good and real natural. I'm so happy I did this. I don't usually do stuff like this. But I'm happy I did it today. So, mm. anyways. All right. I had to get my stuff together because I was all over the place just now. But, um, yeah, I'm about to go outside. I'm about to take some pictures. I lost the socks I was supposed to be wearing with this outfit. So, but look a little tacky. Don't say nothing. Look, I just had to wear white socks. I don't know. But, um, I'm going to show y'all my whole the full outfit details. Actually, I'm going to just enter it in the video just now. Like, right now. So, basically, I got this outfit from a brand called Nose in the Air. Slash, like, Nita. That's her little slogan or saying that she got going on. It's a men's sweatsuit. And if you know me, you know I love men's clothes. I love men's sweatpants, t-shirts, anything. I love men's clothes. They're super comfortable. I don't really get dressed that often. So, I'm very big on being extremely comfortable. And this is, like, a teddy kind of material. Like, it's so soft. And the sweatpants, they're not big. I mean, the middle part is a little big. But I think it's supposed to be like that. I'm not sure. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so this is where the sweatsuit is from. And then I got this bodysuit from Swankaposh. I know y'all know about that brand now because everybody be promoting it. But I got this. I was working with them before everybody was doing it. So don't try to, you know, don't do that. But, yeah, I got this from them. And then I got my Yeezy socks and some tacky white socks I found in the drawer. So that is all for this look. Once again, if you want more information on this hair, I'm going to leave it in the description box down below so y'all can get into this wig because it's feeling nice, it's looking nice. Usually I can tell if a wig is going to be trash, but hair VV really never lets me down. The only thing that they disappoint me with sometimes is the cap size of the actual wig, but ever since that one time they sent me a wig and was like really on top of sending me the right cap size, they been on it. So my cap size has been fitting extremely perfect i believe it's a medium but like i said i'm gonna put everything down below so y'all can see what's going on and i actually my head is a little small too i'm not gonna lie y'all my head is a little small so i would think that i'm a size small but with hair vv i'm a size medium so if you feel like you got a super big head there's a lot of girls that come to me like girl my hair my head is really really big so just beware so if y'all wanted those maybe i could get a large cap size and then just adjust the band they do their hairline super precise so I don't have a widow speak, but it kind of looks like I have a widow speak the way they make their wigs, which is a little bit more natural, in my opinion, for a hairline. So it just all depends. But anyways, let me go catch some pictures for y'all so I can post them. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in my next video, okay? Bye, love.